how to create your online marketplace using Equid.com. Hey guys, if you want to see how you can create your online marketplace and start your own e-commerce store using Equid.com, stay tuned. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can start selling products on Facebook, Instagram, or any other social media platforms using Equid. Equid is a free software, so you can use it for free, and there are even premium plans that you can subscribe to if you want more features. So without wasting any time, let's create our account on Equid. This is their homepage, and on the right side, you can see Get Started for Free. I'm going to click on that and create your account. You can create your account using your email and put in your password or you can even link your Apple account, Facebook account or Google account. So I'll put in my details and I'll get started in a minute. So once you create your account on Equid, this is going to be your landing page. Over here, as you can see, Equid is going to be giving you a bunch of options. Over here, if you click over here, you can add your store and link it to Equid. So if you have a website on WordPress, Wix, Weebly, Joomla, Rapid Weaver, you can easily link that website and have your digital store monitored by Equid. And this is a very easy plugin. So most websites are created using these softwares and Equid is able to link to them directly. So it makes your sales a lot more easier to calculate and it makes your analysis a lot more easier. This is your basic dashboard. And if you click over here, you can see your sales. You can track your orders. So basically your general analytics are gonna be present over here. And then you also have your catalog. So if you're selling whatever kinds of items you're selling, you're just going to add them over here. And these are just samples provided by Equid on how to list stuff. Just like this, you're going to upload a few pictures. You're going to edit the price. You can also edit the product and, you know, make changes as it goes. You're going to write a description, whatever it might be. And you're going to list the details of the item. Also, you can add or edit the ribbon. So uh, you can add details like if the item has free shipping or if the item is new, if it's on sale, anything like that, you can add that in the ribbon. Also, you can add some subtitles. So if it's a very specific item, then you can add floral dress or some kind of general attribute to the item in the subtext. Also, you have attributes of the items. You also have the option to add sizes and different fields for your items so if you're selling clothes you can add small medium large extra large and all those different kinds of options if your sizes are based on numbers so you can do 10 20 uh, 10 12 14 just like that then you have your files so whatever data you're uploading is going to be present in files then you also have tax and shipping which we're going to add next over here is your marketing page so you can advertise across google facebook but to get these options you will have to pay for the premium plan on equid uh, you can't sell directly from equid on facebook and instagram unless you are paying for equid that is something to keep in mind. So if you're planning on starting your own small business, it's very important to note that you're going to be using free Equid, but it's going to be pretty limited. So if you have no experience in e-commerce and you're just starting out, you have no clue where to get started, Equid is easy to use and it's very simple. It's not complicated. It's not overwhelming. But once you require a lot of sales, Equid won't be really that efficient for you and it's not going to be very personalized or customizable. So once you grow a larger market and you have more clients, then it's more feasible to move on to some other kind of platform like Shopify. But over here, as you can see, Equid allows you to sell everywhere on Facebook shops, Instagram shopping, and Facebook Messenger. You can also sell on your website through Equid, any site builder platforms, as we've mentioned earlier. So there's also selling on the go. You can manage your online store using iOS, Android, and sell offline with the POS system. That's very efficient if you're running a small business and you don't have a laptop or high-end equipment and you just want to make sales on your phone and you're a busy person, you have other things going on and this is just your side hobby. It's easy to just manage your online business using your phone. For this purpose, this is very efficient. And can also sell on other online marketplaces so you can get a larger customer base when you sell on different platforms especially on amazon and ebay because they are some of the largest platforms and if you are able to efficiently market your products you will be able to garner very large sales on these marketplaces 
Also, you can sell on an instant site using Equid. Your instant site with online storefront is already set up. So this is just very easy. It's already set up for you. You just have to fill in a few of your business details and start selling right away. And over here, you can add a store to your website. So if you already have a website, you've previously created your website and you can add a specific store. So if you already have your website and you don't want the hassle of, you know, having a lot of mumbo jumbo and uh, mixing the store and the website, you can have a neat and clean store window in your website using Equid. And this is what this is. So Equid enables you to create your online store within your website without it being too overwhelming or making your entire website about selling products. So you can have your website for display and other details and also have the element of shopping on your website. And also Equid provides you with details on how you can sell on Facebook and use Equid through your phone. There's also a lot of other channels like Instagram to sell your products. And moving on, this is the part where Equid really lacks. This is the design aspect. So Equid has very limited designs available. It's not very customizable and the overall aesthetic won't be very pleasing if you have a specific kind of product that you're selling. If you're selling perfumes, then this kind of uh, storefront will not be really that appealing and won't really help the overall branding of your product. But if you're starting out, it's totally fine. No one expects a high-end kind of store from someone who's just starting out. And you can see here that you can only change stuff to a certain level. So image sizes can only be large, medium, or small. You can't customize that. The aspect ratio is given and product details and layouts are just given. You can't really customize it. So maybe if you want your product title to be here and the price to be here in a large font, you can't really do that over here. Also, if your category name position, maybe you want it somewhere odd. Maybe you want to write it across the image and do all that stuff. You won't be able to do it. You'll just have to go with this kind of basic look, which is easy to use. But obviously with the current competition, you might want to have something that's different that pops out. And then you also have image gallery thumbnails. So you can choose them to be horizontal, vertical or full size images. And then you have payment. Uh, you're going to add your payment methods that you accept and you're also going to add your shipment methods over here with however you're going to ship your items, if they're going to be by UPS, FedEx or whatever delivery service you're going to be using. Also, you can add your local delivery method. So if you live in a specific area and there are different kind of shipping options there, you don't want to hire like UPS or FedEx because they charge a lot and you just want to deliver in your own area by yourself, you can also do that. So... And moving on, these are just your general settings, so your taxes, legal information, any kind of notification and invoices that you're going to generate, your customer groups, product types, product filters, and store labels. And this has been a easy general overview of Equid. Now I'm going to move on to its pricing and the features that it truly provides compared to its premium packages. So Equid provides with four basic plans. There's the free plan, the venture plan, the business plan, and the unlimited plan. And the free plan is pretty limited. You're not going to have a lot of mobility with the free plan, and that's something that is a huge issue. So the free plan only gives you an online store. It doesn't give you a Facebook shop, an Instagram store, or a mobile point of sale. You can't sell on Amazon. You can't sell on eBay using the free plan only. That is very disappointing. But however, the venture plan is $15 a month, or if you buy it for a year, that's going to be $12.50 a month, and it has zero transaction fees. The good part about Equid is no matter how many sell sales you're generating, they're not going to charge you any kind of transaction fees or sales fees, so that's pretty good. Your entire profit will directly come to you. You won't have to pay Equid for their platform, which is very helpful for someone that's just starting out. There's also the business plan, which is $35 a month, and if you buy it annually that's going to come out to 26.17 the unlimited is 99 dollars and if you buy it annually it's going to come out to 82.50 what's the difference between the venture business and the unlimited is that 
On the business plan, you will also have the ability to sell on Amazon and eBay, while on the venture plan, you can only sell on Facebook shop, Instagram store, and mobile point of sale. So even the venture program does not enable you to sell on eBay and Amazon, and those are the largest companies that are out there. So you really want to see if the product that you're selling is really something that you believe in and you think would go well on Amazon and eBay, you might want to opt for the business plan. Also, you won't be able to promote your items on MailChimp and automated email marketing using the Venture or Free version. So it's pretty disappointing to see on the Venture and Free program on Equid, you won't be able to promote your products using MailChimp and automated email marketing. So if you want MailChimp and automated email marketing, you will have to go for the business or the unlimited plan. Also, if you're using the free version of, also if you're using the free version of Equid, you won't be able to uh, use Android and iOS store app management. So if you're managing your store, you won't be able to do that on your phone on the free version. Also, you can only get your shopping app. So if you want to create an application for your shop, then you will only get that on the unlimited plan. And the free version only allows you to have 10 products while the venture allows you 100 and the business allows you 2,500 and the unlimited is obviously unlimited. So the data you can store is also 25 gigabytes per file and that's the same on all three of the paid plans. And these are just the basic differences between all these plans. So if you're considering getting Equid for your business and you're just starting out, it's fine to use the free option. But if you're going to pay for Equid, I would definitely recommend that you go for Shopify instead. And Shopify has a lot more value for its money. And that was it for today. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.